As parents, we are concerned about the amount of screen time our children experience daily. The screen time feature not only informs us about usage, but also allows you to set limitations for children under the age of 18. You and your child can do this from your child's iPhone or from the Family Sharing Organizer Parents iPhone. From the home screen, tap on Settings. Tap on Screen Time. You might have to swipe to see it. If enabling this feature on the parent's iPhone, you may see the child listed below if they are already part of Family Sharing and may tap on it to continue. Enable Screen Time by tapping. An overview of the features may be displayed. Tap Continue. To set up screen time on your child's iPhone, select This is my child's iPhone. You may set up screen time features from here or more comprehensively in a moment. I'll select Not Now for each of the features to set them up in a moment. Create a passcode that will be used to allow more time in an app or to make future changes to screen time settings. Be sure to remember this passcode. If you forget it, you will have to back up, erase, and restore the iPhone. This should be a unique passcode. Don't choose one that is used to unlock your iPhone. You will be required to re-enter the passcode. Now we have arrived on screen time. Let's tap on downtime. You might have to enter your passcode to access these settings. First, tap to enable downtime. Schedule downtime when apps and notifications will be blocked. For example, an hour before bedtime until morning. Calls and certain apps you wish to allow during this time will still be available. Additionally, you may override downtime and app limits by entering in your screen time passcode. Select if you want downtime scheduled for the same time every day. Tap From to select the start time or to select different times for different days, tap Customize Days. Tap to select the day. Swipe to select the start time. Don't forget AM or PM. Next, tap on To. Swipe to select an end time. When finished, swipe back. You can do this for each day of the week. Block at downtime may be available. When this is enabled as mine is, your child will only be able to have more time in an app or feature by requesting permission from the organizer parent. When finished, swipe back. Let's select App Limits. You may select daily time limits for certain apps. Listed are categories. Tap on a category to see the available apps in this category. Then select the apps in the category for which you want to set a specific time limit. I want to limit FaceTime to one hour daily, so I'll select that. As well, you may select entire categories. I also want to limit games for an hour daily, so I'll select that. Now to set the time limit for these, I'll tap Next. Set the time limit you want for these specific apps you just selected by swiping. You may even tap to set custom limits for each day. Block at end of limit may be available. When this is enabled as mine is, your child will only be able to have more time in an app or feature by requesting permission from the organizer parent. Listed are apps for which these time limits apply. When finished, tap Add. To select more apps and categories, tap Add Limit. Continue to select apps and categories and set the specific times you wish for these. Additionally, you may select and add specific websites. I'll go ahead and tap Cancel. To remove apps from being limited, swipe across and then select Remove. Or tap on the listing to edit the settings. Swipe back to Screen Time. Let's tap on Communication Limits. This allows you to limit who may contact your child, as well as who they may contact using phone, FaceTime, or messages. No worries, known emergency numbers will be allowed any time. You may select who your child may communicate with during allowed screen time. You may allow them to communicate with everyone, or if you prefer, only people who are in their contacts saved to iCloud. 
Additionally, you may allow people to be added to a group conversation if one of the iCloud contacts or family members is part of the group conversation. When finished, swipe back. You may make similar selections for when your child's phone is in downtime. You may allow iCloud contacts or reduce it even more by selecting specific contacts. Next, tap Add Contacts. Now you may add a new iCloud contact or choose from iCloud Contacts. Select the contacts you wish. Then tap Done. The contact is now listed. Later, if you wish to remove an allowed contact, swipe across the listing and tap Remove. When finished, swipe back. If you wish for your child not to be able to edit contacts, tap to disable. When finished, swipe back to the previous screen. Now you may always allow some apps like books. Allowed contacts during downtime will reflect the same selection you just made in communication limit settings. If you change your setting here, it will be changed in communication limit settings. Listed are apps that currently may always be accessed. Access to the phone will always be allowed. Be sure to consider safety when selecting, for example, maps, or if your child needs certain health or accessibility apps, be sure to allow them. Add any apps to this list by tapping the Add sign. Notice it is added to the allowed list. If you wish to remove an app from the list, then tap the red circle and confirm you wish to remove it. Swipe up to view more apps from which to choose. When finished, swipe back. For information on content and privacy restrictions, please view our videos. Swipe up to view more options. You may turn off screen time or change your screen time passcode. If your child has other Apple devices like an iPad that are signed into their iCloud account, you may apply these settings to those devices and receive a combined report for all those devices. Tap or swipe back to Settings. On your child's iPhone, be sure contacts are enabled in iCloud for communication limits to apply. To do this, tap on your child's name. Next, select iCloud. Make sure contacts is enabled as mine is. When finished, swipe back to the settings screen. Return to the home screen. Discuss with your child the benefits of managing screen time and work with your child to select app limits and downtime. You'll be glad that you did. Learn all about the screen time feature by visiting us at mymobilegenius.com. Empowering Mobility.